greetings from igno regional center kochi in today's innovation club uh, activity we have a new topic of uh, the entrepreneurship roles and responsibilities commemorating with the national entrepreneurship day uh, which falls on 21st november and the world entrepreneur day falls on 21st august so i repeat once again the national entrepreneur day falls on 21st november and the world entrepreneur day falls on 21st august and uh, this uh, special innovation club activity is also under the entrepreneurship uh, the uh, the the avenues for new entrepreneurs in the indian scenario and to commemorate the national entrepreneur day and uh, we also have uh, the session on life skill and also about swayam at the end of the program and uh, we also want to highlight uh, the that the father of uh, indian entrepreneur is dr vihari das gopal das patel he is a economist and uh, we uh, in indian scenario we have four types of entrepreneurship the small scale the small business scalable startup the um, social entrepreneurship and the large company entrepreneurship when you think about social entrepreneurship what comes to our mind is religious purpose and uh, the, everything has to have a uh, start so it is we start small and we end up as a large uh, company entrepreneurship so it is time will tell and how much persistence the creativity and sustenance to the challenges uh, which uh, an individual uh, undergoes during the initial stage of starting a business having a novel idea and converting into one of the four types of entrepreneurships namely the small uh, business uh, scalable startup the social entrepreneurship large company entrepreneurship and uh, with this uh, small uh, uh, thought uh, that to start is something which we have to do today and tomorrow it will tell whether our gesture is good or not with this small thought i hand over the session to uh, dr prasita unnikrishnan assistant director also nodal uh, officer for the igno regional center kochi innovation club activity who will be introducing the guest for the today the speaker and also a small brief about the innovation club activity at the igno regional center kochi over to dr prasita unikesh thank you dr kishori madam for the uh, for the welcome so uh, today we have with us a very renowned personality Uh, Ms. Lina D. Mohan. He is also a principal consultant. So before I give her, uh, before I give the introduction, uh, let me just brief you about the Innovation Club activities at Igno Regional Center, Kochi. In fact, the Innovation Club at Igno Regional Center, Kochi, was initiated under the encouragement of the National Center for Innovation in Distance Education, which is at Igno Headquarter, Delhi. The National Center for Innovation in Distance Education was established in December 2005, and it is a facility for promoting, supporting, re-engineering, and disseminating innovations in open and distance learning system. In fact, the NCID is the ground for nurturing bright and inquisitive minds whose ideas and explorations are expected to develop the ODL system to suit the needs of the Gen X. Uh, the center's goal is to develop a culture of continued search. for new and innovative solutions to offer seamless education for all achieve cost efficiency in its operations and provide borderless access to quality education and training under igno regional center kochi a series of monthly lecture identified as open session come enrichment sessions have been held since september 2018 and the sessions are usually held with an objective to enrich and generate awareness amongst the learners of igno on a wide range of topics ranging from time management career management key support services of igno entrepreneurial opportunities available innovations in ict interventions in education uh, entrepreneurial transformation of conduct of education in india and belief uh, and uh, life skills for a successful living culture of body centrism and pace in life 
bringing out the best in people, unleashing the power of effective communication. And uh, the last two sessions we had on millets, uh, since it is also the International Year of Millets, we had ses two sessions on healthy way of living, millet for wellness, millets for demystifying the superfood for the future. And the last session of the Innovation Club was on biofuels for a sustainable development. Hence, uh, this session is also a platform to resolve the learner's grievances with respect to the subject the student is pursuing from ETO. So today's Innovation Club session is on the topic Entrepreneurship it Roles and Responsibilities by uh, Ms. Uh, Lena D. Mohan. Uh, uh, I'm grateful to the resource person because of sh such a short notice, she agreed to take this session and very graceful enough to have come all the way to address you all. Um, Ms. Lena D. Mohan has over uh, 29 years of architectural experience, structural interior related professional experience and she has obtained her BTEC degree in civil engineering in 1993 from Mark Athanius College, Kodamangalam under the MD University Kottayam. And uh, she has established her firm, Lena D. Mohan Associates, uh, in the year 2008. Uh, before that, she was she has a wide variety of experience. Uh, she was a project engineer at a notable architectural firm, uh, and M. Salim and Associates Coecourt, and was also project in charge of construction of major projects in Kochi, which include the Thompson Commercial Pro uh, Complex, uh, uh, the Lee Meridian Convention Center, the Lee Meridian Five Star Hotel, Lakeshore Hospital and Research Center, a holiday in five star hotel. In fact, uh, she uh, her biodata is quite exhaustive, uh, and uh, her team comprises uh, of a compact, qualified, and extremely creative team of motivated and uh, uh, motivated individuals whom she motivates to excel in their field. In addition to that, uh, uh, her firm is also having a major expertise in modern and uh, uh, renovations of old buildings. And uh, her firm has uh, till now completed over 300 projects. And the firm's work has also been published in the architectural magazines. And in fact, she, uh, basically, she is a chartered engineer and valuer as well. Uh, so she is a person who wears many hats. And I'm sure uh, uh, with her session, our learners and our viewers would uh, have a brief about the entrepreneurship roles and responsibilities especially since we are celebrating the National Entrepreneurship uh, Day celebrations as well. So I cordially invite our resource person for today's session, uh, Ms. Lina D. Mohan, uh, to kindly address our viewers on the same. Um, namaste all. Once again, namaste to all. I am uh, extremely grateful to the Director, Regional Director, Dr. J. S. Dorothy, ma'am, for inviting me to give a session here on the particular subject of entrepreneurship roles and responsibilities. I was guided to this role by the Assistant uh, Joint Director, Dr. Prasita Unikrishnan. I express my grateful thanks to Dr. Prasida also for giving me this opportunity to share my experiences and my topics or my thoughts about the topic of entrepreneurship, roles and responsibilities. Dr. Prasida has already introduced myself. Still, I completed my bachelor's degree in uh, civil engineering. 1993 and all these years of 29 years have been doing projects of uh, architectural structural and interiors in various regions uh, various places in the state of kerala basically a chartered engineer value also at first i began my career as a project engineer in the in an architectural firm mrs nm salim associates and i was a project in charge of many projects in Kochi and that gave me a real exposure to the projects and major projects to be done in architectures and uh, I had a passion in this field and I moved on to do many projects of, with my own my own design aspects and uh, giving more importance to light that is light a uh, 
this uh, aeration and giving a design with uh, a combination that leads to distinct design process and end product that are aesthetically and intellectually rigorous as well as financially informed. Then we have uh, it's a design oriented consultancy firm which I started in 2008 and it is committed to excellence in custom architecture that is we begin by listening to the requirement of the client carefully and then understanding the values of what the client requires is more important to us and the result of the architecture that is current as is serene yet warm and universally rational while also being uniquely reflective of the values and characters of our client so it is important from our side to carefully understand the values which is most important to the client and then deliver the quality of the requirement to them. What the points I'm sharing is from my own experiences and the great topic of entrepreneurship. These, just to give you the glimpse of the projects that we do and we have completed just a few of the projects just to give you the idea of what type of work we are into. The church here. Some possible projects, apartment projects, residential makeover of uh, see the photos of before and what is the end product after. Some residential landscapes different interiors moving on to the topic the entrepreneur the term entrepreneur has its roots in french the word entrepreneur is derived from the old french word entrepreneur which means to undertake or to begin the concept of an entrepreneur as someone who undertakes a business venture taking on financial risk in the hope of profit has been a part of economic activity for centuries. The modern usage of the term entrepreneur gained popularity in the 18th and 19th centuries, notably with the works of economics such as Richard Catalan and Jean Baptiste Say. However, the term really became widely recognized in the 20th century as entrepreneurship became a more prominent and studied aspect of economics and business. In essence, an entrepreneur is an individual who starts a new business or venture, taking on financial and other risks in the hope of achieving success and profitability. Entrepreneurs are often associated with innovation as they bring new ideas, products or services to the market. They play a crucial role in driving economic growth and development. On this note, I'll just share my experience that I started off with the project engineer as I said earlier, moved on to making new projects or designing new new and uh, new residential buildings and uh, hospital buildings because I had a passion for it. I wanted to bring some new ideas into the uh, into the client's requirement. So that is how I started my own uh, firm as a consultancy firm. So this is actually the word when you say entrepreneurs are often associated with innovation. They, they Something which in, is there in their mind, they are bringing it into action or they are bringing it into a, a product as such. Now unlocking success or the exploring the dynamic roles and responsibilities of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is actually a dynamic journey of innovation risk taking and leadership you have to note the point it is the dynamic journey dynamic because it is not static once you once you start it it doesn't stay static you have to be a dynamic person make a lot of changes in innovation also and you have to take a lot of risk and then move forward and you have to be a leader in your own self so entrepreneurship is a dynamic journey of innovation risk taking and leadership so how do you unlock success so unlocking success explores the pivotal roles and responsibilities of entrepreneurs in today's business landscape 
So this is a, uh, we are going to delve into the strategies and mindsets that drive entrepreneurial success. I said about innovative leadership. Effective leadership is the core of entrepreneurial success. So if you want to be success in your entrepreneur, the first and the foremost quality what you need in yourself is to be an innovative person, also to be a leader in yourself. So you have to have an innovative leadership in you so that you must inspire and empower your teams also. So what you have to do is actually innovative leadership and inspire and empower your team while driving innovation and fostering a culture of creativity. So it can be in any form. Uh, I'm, uh, in my aspect, I'm talking about architecture or uh, interiors, but it can be in any form, any, any portion or any product or any type of entrepreneurship. You have to have an innovative method. So that is the first and foremost important point you have to you have to have in yourself. Second is the strategic planning. Now, strategic planning is crucial for entrepreneurs to chart a course for sustainable growth and success. This actually is important because once you are innovative or you are having a product, and then you have to have a planning for it as to how you are going to do about this or how you are going to do with this business or how you are going to do this product into the market or how you're going to deal with it with the other customers or so. So you have to have a strategy planning and aligning business goals, resources, and market opportunities. For this, you have to have a team with you. So empowering and nurturing teams is essential for fostering a culture of collaboration, innovation, and success. You may find entrepreneurs or single entrepreneur this I'm talking about where, where you have a team of entrepreneurs. Like when you have, a, when it is a single entrepreneur also, to bring a product into market, you need a team of yourself. Or even if it is a consultancy, even if you're uh, doing a marketing business or you're into IT, anything, but you have to have a team. And that team has, should have a, uh, it should have a collaboration of culture, innovation, and success. So all, all the, the team with you should also be uh, innovative and really want to succeed in the product. This is a leadership strategy that empowers teams to achieve collective goals and drive business growth. So you have to have a goal, but to reach that, you have to have a collective effort from your team spirit also. For that, what you have to do is human resources. Recruit, train, and manage a skilled and motivated team. This is a real important aspect when you're doing a business or entrepreneurship. You, when you recruit or you train and manage a, a, single, a skilled and motivated team is essentially required if you have, want to have a success in your entrepreneurship. This actually, you have to foster a positive work environment and encourages collaboration and creativity. I want to emphasize here, it is not like giving deadlines or just stressing your staff to bring out the product. No, you are not going to get to the end result will not be a good result. If you want to have a really creative uh, result, which is really good, you have to give a positive way for them to work. So that is really important. Instead of stressing your uh, team, you motivate them so that they give the best product to you or they bring out their creativity to the ultimate end. When you're doing this, you need to go for legal and regulatory compliance of whatever is there in the state of the uh, country. So ensure that the business operates in compliance with relevant laws and regulations. Stay informed about changes in legislation that may affect the industry. So once you uh, you thought about a product, you have an innovative idea, and you have a strategic planning, then you have formed a team. And now what you have to do is, according, it should be registered or it should be in the uh, uh, according to the law of the particular state or where you are opening your business. 
to market analysis. Now, through market analysis, is essential for entrepreneurs to identify trends. The market keeps on changing. So you have to have a, a particular analysis of the present scenario as well as what it was uh, maybe a few years back and how it is going to come in the future also. So that is all the market analysis is about. So thorough market analysis is essential for entrepreneurs to identify trends, customer needs, and competitive landscape. This highlights the importance of market analysis in shaping effective business strategies and value propositions. After you analyze it, you have to go uh, innovative marketing. That is, innovating, uh, innovative marketing strategies are essential for entrepreneurs to build brand awareness and engage customers. This is uh, very important in our present day because we can see, um, if you look around also, you can see new products coming up and the way they market it, it's an innovative, if it is an innovative way, it actually catches the eye of the customers and then they already hook on to the product. So you, when you are planning for a uh, product or so, you have to have an innovative way of marketing strategies. So this actually explores the dynamic approaches to marketing that drive entrepreneurial success in competitive markets. Adaptability is really important in this sector because adapt to the changes in the market technology and other external factors. That is, embrace the mindset of continuous improvement. You have to prepare your mind so that as it changes in the world around, you have to change in yourself so that it, you have you can keep up your products up to the uh, the requirements of the market. The financial market. Then now we have done a um, marketing analysis, and then you have the um, you have done the strategic planning. You have done the market analysis, and then first the next thing what you require is a financial management, and the financial management is critical for sustainable growth and profitability. Entrepreneurs must effectively manage resources, budgets, and investments. Actually, it's a key principle of financial management for entrepreneur ventures. Now, risk management. This is uh, one of the most important factors here when you're talking about entrepreneurship. Now, any, any type of business you're in or any type of product you're in, any type of uh, creativity, there's always a risk in it. If, so navigating risk is actually inherent to entrepreneurship. When you are actually navigating it, uh, to uh, risk is that like one of the most important quality you require for entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurs must access, mitigate, and embrace risk to drive growth and innovation. Actually examines the strategies and mindset required for effective risk management in entrepreneur pursuits. So when we talk about this, what you have, what you require to have is actually a healthy mind. So when you have a healthy mind, you have to, uh, uh, you have to develop yourself in such a way so that you have to know the positives and the negatives of the business you're in. And you have to study whatever risk is also involved in your business. So if you study the risk involved in your business, and if you are prepared well above, well ahead of what is going to come in future, you will be able to manage it. But there are factors which comes in between as a surprise to us also. Even if any circumstances come to you as a surprise, you have to prepare yourself and tackle it in such a way that your entrepreneurship is going to be in the high only. It is not going to the negative down. So the first thing is a risk taker. You have to access, assess and take calculated risk to achieve business goals. This is what I'm talking about. Whatever risk is involved in your business, you have to analyze it uh, earlier itself. And then you have to understand these are the risks involved when you're going ahead with this business. And you have to have the mind to actually go forward and take the risk. And when you're taking the risk, you have to be a decision maker also. Why? Because you have to make the right decision at the right place. So make key decisions related to business strategy, product development, and resource allocation. Then the next thing comes customer relationship. Now, whatever business you are into, this is actually in 
for the people or for the humanity as such. So you have to prior, prioritize customer satisfaction and address customer feedback. Build a strong reputation for the business through excellent customer service. So that is uh, one of the most uh, uh, important point of business. Whatever business you do with the customer, you ha should have a, a good cordial relationship and there may be some feedbacks which come to them which, which will highlight our negative points also of the product or thing but you have to have the mind to accept it and then change it accordingly and make the variations as such is required by the customer striving for excellence excellence actually is a cornerstone of entrepreneurial success and it emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and that is you keep on uh, learning, adaptability, and a commitment to excellence in driving business growth and innovation. Anything what you're doing, according to if you see the present trends the, uh, in the market, the IT sector and all the uh, uh, all the uh, uh, electronics equipments, all these keep on changing from day to day. So whatever uh, business you're into, you have to adapt it in such a way that you all you always strive for the excellence in your business strive for the best try for whatever whatever you are into you have to strive for the best and you have to get the best product for it so understanding entrepreneurship is actually if i summarize all this it's successful entrepreneurship requires a blend of creativity resilience which is most important and strategic vision so entrepreneurs must navigate through challenges, seize opportunities, and continuously adapt to market dynamics. This is the uh, gist of what I've been talking now, the whole through. That is, you have to navigate through challenges. So whatever challenges come along, you have to navigate through it. You have to prepare yourself to navigate through it. And seize opportunities. See, uh, nobody comes to you to knock the door. You, sometimes you have to go to knock the door. So whatever opportunities come to you, you have to seize it at, at, uh, at once itself. Or sometimes you have to go out and uh, for opportunities, you have to seek opportunities from outside also. And market dynamics, you have to strictly continuously adapt. Now the responsibility of entrepreneurs it is actually you can you have to have a social responsibility. That is the most important responsibility required for an entrepreneur. That is consider the social and environmental impact of the business. Because you have to understand that the earth we are now living in is actually what we have borrowed from our future generation. So we have to return the earth in the same way or in a better way actually for the future generation so uh, we have to consider the environmental impact of whatever business we are doing you have to consider the environmental in impact and what you have to do is actually implement only sustainable and socially responsible practices when feasible so whatever you're doing should not have a negative impact on the environment and it should have a sustainable uh, method of which is required for the environment so entrepreneurs often wear multiple hats and must be adaptable in navigating the challenges of running a business ability to, to balance these responsibilities is crucial for the success and sustainability of the entrepreneurial venture So, with this note, I'm giving you a gist, gist of the uh, entrepreneurship's roles and responsibilities. And uh, I hope I have made a clear cut view of what is required to be an entrepreneur and how you have to navigate into this. And uh, I wish all who have listened to this program a great success in their future endeavors. And I hope I have uh, actually motivated at least a few to be an entrepreneur. 
safety. I've talked about risk and challenges. So don't take it as a negative sense. We, it, can, it is just to highlight it, the positiveness, what is required to be an entrepreneur. I hope uh, this uh, the topic, which I made it in the disc, is actually covered. And uh, I uh, sincerely thank uh, Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Centre, Kochi, for giving me an opportunity to share my views and to share a few lines about this topic, entrepreneurship, roles and responsibilities. Thank you everyone for listening to me. Thank you. Namaste. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Lina Ma'am, for the wonderful session where we have explained in detail about the roles and responsibilities of being a uh, successful entrepreneur. And uh, I think Madam has given enough uh, food, of, food for thought for today's session. And my colleague, uh, Dr. V.P. Janja Kumari, also has joined for the session. So before, uh, I would just like to uh, request uh, Madam to kindly give her comments. Thank you, Prasida, madam. So I was uh, I'm very happy to have such a session because uh, sometimes we are thinking that our system is not an entrepreneurship. But actually, nowadays, education is also in the sense as a business. It's a service and a developmental activity. But even it is an institutionalized program. And we are conducting institutional rights programs with many courses. He is there. Uh, HR uh, management is there. So considering all these aspects, you have to say in an economic way, in the view of an economist, it has to be taught as entrepreneurship. So in that sense, the whole points Madam delivered here, shared with us, is relevant and applicable for us also. Because uh, we the administrators, academics, all are the HR and the cordial relationship between the uh, human resource, their uh, happiness, the mental health, and everything is definitely affecting the success of the system. So uh, that is the one first point in market analysis. For delivering our programs in a need-based manner, always we need market analysis of the programs, whether the students are interested to do our programs, whether they are uh, uh, joining, and how the accessibility is there from us to the students. Like that, market analysis is also needed for uh, the good going of our uh, projects. Then a very essential thing, Madam was uh, highlighting that customer feedback. Our students are our customers. So it is it is essential to have a feedback from the students and the feedback analysis from the students uh, for the uh, development and good going of the system. And as such, only we can give remedies, we can give resolutions for the uh, feedback for the issues uh, experienced by the students from their feedback. And these aspects, HR management, uh, good management, and good, good governance along with and the market analysis, uh, customer analysis, and uh, the other matters, means of social responsibility, etc., are always needed for striving for excellence. So, very nicely, Madam was connecting all these aspects and the importance. So, uh, we, we are not away from this uh, criteria of entrepreneurship because our institution is also like that so i think this relevant talk and this reminder is very much helpful for us in our busy schedules we are not thinking that we are also entrepreneurs really it is like that we are the part of that such a big entrepreneurship and uh, as dorothy madam was telling that this is the large scale industry a large scale entrepreneurship we are at the end of this uh, 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 different uh, types of entrepreneurships in the society. So I think in all the ways, the resource person to whom uh, 
uh, madam prasida is identified and her topic was very much relevant and i am very much thankful to have such points in mind to apply for our system also thank you very much lina madam and uh, prasida madam also for this uh, endeavor thank you very much once again Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your comments. Uh, in fact, what you said is also right. Even education is an entrepreneurial journey somewhere. And uh, in fact, madam's session, uh, madam has very distinctly uh, identified the strategic analysis, the marketing analysis, the financial management, the risk management, which are which is all involved in this entrepreneurship journey. And uh, lastly, she summed up that by saying that creativity, resilience, and strategic vision is also very much. Essential uh, for the entrepreneurship journey. Now I request our regional director under whose guidance uh, we are holding this session to kindly present her views about the session. Friends, we were listening to uh, Shri, Madam uh, Lena Mohan, who was sharing about uh, the uh, journey she has traveled, and she was literally sharing her experience of three decades of being uh, an entrepreneur. And some of the uh, skills which he, she has imparted in this session uh, are also life skills which will be uh, useful across the sectors, whether you are an entrepreneur or you are under an entrepreneur uh, or you are uh, otherwise employed in a, uh, in a educational setup or uh, any activity you are involved. One is the power of we. She was talking about the leadership and also the team involved. So the question of life skill is, today is from her session is, do you fit into any team or do you serve only as a leader or can you work only as a uh, member of the team so that somebody will do the job and you get the benefit and you will work only if you are a leader. So how you are going to fit into a team is a life skill which we learn and madam was sharing even though creativity or the startup as an activity is initiated from one person the team matters a lot and friends we also uh, want to share many of the uh, program courses meaning each of the program of igno has many subjects that is the courses and the courses are available in swayam portal the SYM portal is uh, one of the um, uh, online course which is available for all the uh, aspirants of higher education and the IGNO courses are also available in the SWAYAM portal so be benefited of it and this session being held under the National Entrepreneur Day even though uh, you are what you eat so what we want to say is do you eat right and do you integrate uh, some nutritious uh, elements or food habits in your diet and do you have a, a concept of uh, reduced medical bill because of your food habit because food habit doesn't come overnight it has to be sustained across the lifeline of an individual so being this as an international year of millets uh, we also encourage you to integrate millet in your diet so that it will be uh, more uh, balanced and also it will be nutritive in, uh, when it comes to the wholesome food. And many of the food, uh, uh, when it is uh, integrated and eaten, the one nutrient which is deficient in a food will get be supplemented by the other food which is eaten together and also uh, complement the nutrient interaction and absorption later upon digestion. So with this small thought of integrating food in your diet and also uh, integrating millet uh, in your diet, we also want to highlight certain life skills besides the team worker is ability to take one day at a time. So uh, now that the exams are also going to come, Many a time you will think that the exam, say if it is scheduled around the mid of December and you are not yet planned, please take one day at a time. Don't plan to study a day before the exam. Today, standing from today, maybe that uh, the day of your exam, you may be having so many activities. 
but only when the activity the day comes uh, the things will move out many a time it is like a life challenge and so we encourage you friends to take one day at a time and to do plan at least one activity related to your study in a day and we also encourage you that when you travel in your program of study many a times the hurdles are meant for you to cross and the hurdles need not to be uh, the uh, initiated by you or the program of study it may be due to the interaction of your life with as a social uh, commitments or with the employment commitments or also with your personal commitments so how you are going to handle matters a lot so many a time it's like a road travel when you go towards a deadline or a dead end only then you realize that there are many ways at the dead, from the dead end so looking from far the dead end seems to be a really blocking stone but when you travel near the dead end you will have multiple ways being opened up so also with the, uh, study many a time when you start the program of study you feel like withdrawing please do not do that as you progress and as you uh, do certain prerequisites for successful completion of your program the uh, add on effect of doing a, a small activity a day related to your program of study will help you to multiple ways of how to manage it as you progress in your learning cycle with this we also want to uh, share once again that uh, the ignu uh, programs are also available in online and also odl mode so be benefited and uh, we look forward uh, for uh, meeting you in another session uh, with the, on the on another new topic under the innovation club activity and the recording of today's program will also be available in ignu regional center for chin youtube channel so please be benefited of be, uh, subscribing to ignu youtube channel uh, so that you will know what is being there and you can also be benefited of visiting the various places listed there so with a small thought what we have learned so far, uh, listened so far um, meaning starting from the role of an entrepreneur how even though the idea is single person originating the team matters a lot in implementing and sustaining it as the days goes by so also our life even though we may be the first one to study or first one to work are we integrating with our family people are we integrating with the um, in the place of work or are we able to do multiple roles or we are convinced only if, we, if such a role is given we will be able to do so that is a small check check the self check list which you have to do it uh, and it will really talk whether you are a team uh, placer or you will be a uh, only a solo leader so but the, a team leader will also be a team member when it comes to execution of work so with a small thought when it looking um, madam's uh, session for she has been sharing 30 decades of her experience so today it may seem to be for her to share this but you remember friends what she was sharing is how the strategic planning how the hurdles and how innovation and sustenance for improvement it was a constant activity to keep in line with the customer uh, who is the uh, at, at the end who has to be satisfied and that will give spin off benefits again for the institution uh, as a uh, uh, venture under an entrepreneur for financial benefits also so when we are talking about uh, this as a life skill of taking a challenge definitely there is spin off benefits so with a small thought we wind up this session and we thank you for being with uh, ignore ignore center coach in this program thank you one and all